Okay, well, good morning, y'all, and uh, welcome to the chat locker. I am Cindy. And I'm Michael. And we are at last just us. And um, we decided to start this little session, um, and we're hoping to make it once a week. Um, people ask us a lot of questions while we're on the road, and um, finding out that we're full-time RVers, they wanted to know, one of the questions was, probably the most asked questions we get, what made you decide to go full-time RVing? Yeah, and I, we retired uh, almost three years ago, and prior to that, what really piqued our interest in traveling was when we'd go on vacation every year, when we were still working, we'd take two weeks, we'd get in our car, and without an agenda, just go travel. In fact, we wouldn't even make hotel reservations until that day for that night. And we traveled up the northern routes of the states uh, and then would circle around as we got closer to the east coast uh, and then stop and see things all the way back um, to where we were living. And so, and that was without an agenda. We never did set up an agenda t ahead of time. But anytime in that circumstance where we'd have about two weeks, maybe three weeks at the max to travel, uh, when we'd stop somewhere one night, maybe two nights, uh, there was so much more to see, whether uh, it was uh, through Nevada, whether it was through Idaho, uh, Wyoming, uh, the Dakotas, uh, uh, wherever, and then, and then moving east, um, Wisconsin and, you know, all, just all over. Yeah. And I, th I think one year we traveled 18 states and uh, 5,200 miles in three weeks. Yep. But with that said, we never really got to explore areas. And so it sort of came natural when we retired to uh, go exploring. Yeah, we, we started talking probably around in 2015, some around in that time, and we started going to mm -hmm. um, RV sales lots and things like that, and just looking through class A's, looking through trailers, and you know, fifth wheels and trying to decide what we would want to do. And then we would talk, we talked for five years about going full-time RV. Mm -hmm. And um, so we did, this wasn't spur of the moment, this was really planned. And so the day that we were, our house was closing, escrow was closing, we signed our papers on the road. It was during COVID and we were on the road with our truck and our 2020 Imagine trailer. Now we didn't stay with that because we figured out it was too small. But oh, that only took about a month. <laughs> it didn't take about long. a month. <laughs> so then we upgraded to what we have now, which is a, a 2020 full uh, one-ton truck and the 2022 um, Reflection 337 fifth wheel, which is home. It felt like home the moment yeah. we stepped into it. So yeah. anyway, that's how we got to where we are now. Mm -hmm. And we've been doing this for almost three years and just have had so much fun traveling, exploring, mm -hmm. meeting new friends. Oh, yeah. uh, it has just been amazing and we're so glad that we followed our dream. So many people have a dream and never really get to follow it. Right. So we feel very blessed that we are able to live our dream right now. You know, and it was funny, we saw a friend along the way in uh, Wichita Kansas and and it was it was a former co-worker of mine and you know and, and and she said you know what everybody talks about doing what y'all are doing but y'all have done it you know and we're actually doing it and you know that that felt really good it's it seems like uh, um, what holds most people back is fear and the, you know the thing is we just moved ahead we did the best we could to be debt free uh, um, after a whole lot of years of working, we, we managed to do that. And uh, um, so now we live within a budget. Uh, we don't live like tourists. Uh, however, sometimes we are. Uh, um, and we're really loving, loving this life, absolutely. You know, people ask us, um, you know, will we, will we ever settle down and like that? And it even seems like after three years, uh, um, settling downs on the other side of the horizon. It's not even, we can't even see that on this horizon at this point. That's right, yeah. You know, so we, we've really, we've really enjoyed this, 
this life with all its challenges. And don't think it doesn't have challenges <laughs> because it does. It does. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we've had health challenges. We've had RV challenges, truck challenges. All, yeah, yeah. All kinds of things go go haywire. So, um, but you roll with it. You just change your plan and roll yeah. with it. And you have to be flexible to absolutely um, in this lifestyle because you just never know. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, and and. It, you know, it's kind of like a game of golf. You learn a lot about yourself when you play, you know, <laughs> and, and each other. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, and each other. And and uh, um, I'm glad that we're the friends that we are uh, along the way. We've had our challenges in our relationship, uh, but that's OK. We've always tried to, you know, after 40 plus years of marriage, what, what kept us going uh, is our faith and uh, um, the idea that, you know, you don't give up. Yeah, it's commitment. You, you just yeah. problem solve. Yeah. And uh, and work through things. Yeah, absolutely. We've done that our whole marriage too. Just yeah, you know, yeah. No matter where we were, so yeah. So and it helps to have a washer dryer on board the rig. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> he suggested it when we got the fifth wheel, and I'm like, no, we don't need that. <laughs> well, I am so glad we have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. not yet. And again, that's not for everybody. That's just that's just what right, we've done. Right. We tried to get the conveniences of, of pulling our home. We're like pulling our little apartment along with us. Yeah. And you know, tiny homes are a are a going thing. And this is basically our tiny home yeah. on wheels. It is. You know. And uh, so anyway, all right. What's our next question? Next question is: Do you have pets, and how do they travel? Or do they travel easily? Or are they difficult? Um, what do y'all do? So yeah, we have two little Maltese <laughs> doggies. Um, Bella is our oldest one. She's nine, and she started out. Of course, now she's nine years old. We had yeah. raised her as a puppy, but she started out with us um, from our sticks and bricks. And so she's been traveling with us for three years almost. And then do little Dolly just turned one in on Christmas Day. So that's our baby, and she's adjusted really well. She wasn't easy, but she's. <laughs> <laughs> we all lived through it, and it's, yeah. it was so worth it because <laughs> she's a sweetie. <laughs> we've had we've had uh, dogs our whole uh, marriage, all the time we've known each other, and raised from puppies and that kinds of things. But I'll tell you what, raising a puppy in a fifth wheel <laughs> on the travel is it's it's a real challenge, mm. but it's worth it. Oh, totally. To us, it's totally totally worth it. Yes. Because I mean, the love they get back is is uh, and the memories. You know, uh, gotta laugh. <laughs> gotta laugh. <laughs> and they have fun too. You know, they yeah. met, like the, Bella has a best friend, Poochie, who's a dachshund. We meet up with our friends, Karen and Larry. We try to do it every yeah. year, uh, sometimes twice a year. And Bella and Poochie act like they weren't ever apart. Yeah. I mean, if it's been six months to a year since they've seen mm. each other. Yeah. So, yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, and, and, and with that, um, regarding the pup's health, we, uh, um, they have their central uh, vet up in the Rapid City, South Dakota area, which is sort of our home base. Uh, but we also have them registered with Banfield hospitals, pet hospitals that are mostly in PetSmart uh, and like that. They're everywhere all across the United States. And one upside to that is it doesn't matter which Banfield pet hospital or vet that we go to, they have the pup's records so we can get shots and get records and, and, and take care of them along the way. Yeah. Uh, if they need be. Oh, yeah. So it's worked out really, really well. Yeah, that's worked out great. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, they're good little travelers, and like I say, we wouldn't want to do this without them. They've just yeah, the comfort they provide, and the love they provide, and the fun they provide, and, and uh, uh, are, they, are they a little bit of work? Yes, but, you know, they're, it's what routine, they give, though. what they give <laughs> far outweighs what it takes. Absolutely. You know, so. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, those are our couple of questions for, for this week for the chat locker. And so if you have any questions you'd like for us to sort of expand on or, or share how we do it, please put your questions uh, uh, down in the comments and we will get to those uh, next week, which we'll only try to cover one or two questions um, per session and not make this too long. So, okay, y'all, that's uh, uh, pretty much answering a couple of questions there. If you have any questions, please make sure you put them out in the comments, and we'll get to those this next week. 
And also, please don't uh, forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. Yes. And thank you so much for watching, and we will see you all next week. Absolutely. Have a good week.